Can you get herpes from a towel? 100%. And here's how. Herpes is a virus that causes sores on your genitals and mouth. Doctors say herpes can only be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact. So technically, a towel can't transmit herpes, unless it's got some skin on it. Did you know that humans shed a full layer of skin every two weeks? Every 14 days, a human slips out of its skin coat. And what do humans dry their wet, flaky skin on? Towels. But how many of these herpes-rich towels could there be in the world right now? Let's crunch the numbers. There's 7.6 billion people in the world. 50 to 80% of the world's population has herpes. Each of those infected people has about three towels, one for face, one for body, and one for butt. So that means there could be up to 18 billion towels in the world, all waiting to give you herpes. Let's say you're visiting a friend and she's in the bathroom. She's washing her face, dries her mouth sore with a towel. She doesn't even know she has herpes. 90% of people don't know. You go in there right after her, you've been holding it in and really have to go number two. Not a problem, except there's no more toilet paper. She used the last bit. You reach for the only thing left, a freshly used towel. Wipe front, wipe back, wipe out. Game over. You've got herpes on your anus. Let's say you never use someone else's towel. You always bring your own to the pool, the gym, the bris. You're at the gym curling your big, strong, sexy biceps. You turn to the mirror to get a good look at your delicious self, at which moment some other guy at the gym, a real freak who gets off on going down on people with herpes, not sex shaming, just stating that that could be a fact, accidentally switches his herpes covered towel with yours. You realize your mistake only after you've wiped your face. You drop the towel, rush to the bathroom, vigorously wash your face, and dry it with a brand new towel. Uh oh it's the same towel. You've got herpes twice. Let's say you never reuse a towel. Always open a fresh one, wrapped in plastic, completely free of herpes. But as you unwrap one of those towels, you hear some noise coming from the vent in your bathroom wall. It's your neighbors. They're fighting again, this time because one of them didn't tell the other they had herpes. The yelling is vicious. Name calling, they bring up that stuff about how one of them had no friends at science camp. Very painful memory shaped the course of their lives. The spit from their lip flies through their vent, into yours, and onto your fresh towel just as you raise it to your lips. Guess who just got herpes from a towel? Again, it's you. Let's say there is no towel because you're covered in latex. It's a boy in the bubble situation. You did it. There's no way you can get herpes. You're thinking about this as you're walking through a beautiful garden right at the beginning of spring. The flowers are in bloom. If only you could feel the sunshine on your face just for a second. You crawl out of the bubble. Your ears fill with the music of the birds. Your hair stroked by the summer breeze. Caught up in the moment, you bend down to pluck a tulip and trip on the couple having sex behind the bush on a towel. They both have herpes. Gave it to each other years ago. It's a laissez-faire situation. And now their towel is 50% cotton, 50% simplex too. You fall face first onto their cotton Petri dish. You wrestle the towel, trying to get back into your bubble, but you're only making it worse. You crawl back in your bubble, ashamed. No one's gonna wanna touch you now that you've got the Guinness Book of World Records for most herpes. Let's say you've abandoned society to live deep in the jungles of the Madagascar, but you're being chased by a lion. You run for cover, burrow in a brush under a mound of leaves you find a Super Bowl 37 Carolina Panthers towel. How did that towel make it to Madagascar? Well, every year before the Super Bowl, both teams make winning memorabilia, t-shirts, hats, towels. The losing team sends the inventory to Africa. Someone used that towel to dab the sweat off their herpied lip moments before they were mauled by a lion. And now you just got herpes from a towel. Again, you gotta stop getting herpes. It's like your favorite thing to do is get herpes. So yes, you can get herpes from a towel or anything you ever touch in your life. It's just a matter of when and how. I'm Dr. Natasha. I live in this void and your worst fear has been confirmed.